And I'm telling you, the, the guy I'm focused on tonight is John Singleton. Now, you may not have seen or know who this kid is. He's playing first base for the Astros, hitting six tonight. So I want to give you a little bit of a journey this young man's gone through to the big leagues. Now, remember, he came through the Compton Academy in 2007. Here he is right here. Matter of fact, his jersey is retired on the fence out there. Here he is in 2009. He got drafted by the Phillies. Got traded to the Astros in the Hunter Pence deal in 2011. 14. He signs that five-year contract. Remember when the Astros were throwing those out there? He took his wise young man. All right, then he homers his 13 home runs that year in 2014. He ends up getting released by the Astros, and then he wanders, tries to figure out how I get back. He goes to Mexico. He works his way back through, gets picked up by the Brewers. And the next thing you know, he goes and works out with the Brewers. He signs in December. He gets promoted to the big leagues, plays 11 games. Next thing you know, he's still trying to figure his way. The Astros get him back. And here we are. In August, he breaks in and he do not see these home runs. Woo -wee! He lit up a couple homers in Houston, the big bomb, the big bash. And I was, I was watching him. I'm like, who does this remind me of? That swing. I've seen that before. Now, I played 10 years in Seattle, and the furthest ball I ever saw hit there was a guy named Willie Mays Akins. And I, I went, oh, this reminds me of Willie Mays Akins. And so as I watched this swing of Willie Mays Akins, boom. Tell me that doesn't look like John Singleton. All right, boom, and the bat flip. When you know you got one, you hit a long ways, you can do that. So when he hit this second one the other night, he did that. Oh, let me see that again. He did that. Oh, man, that is true, true power. I'm so excited to talk with him. So Jonathan is joining us right now. John, how you doing, man? Doing great, doing great. Glad to be here. So uh, did you like that uh, Willie Mays Ekins bat flip swing right there? I did, I did. I did enjoy that quite a bit. Yeah, you got that second one. What was that like to hit two home runs in the game when you finally got an opportunity to get back to the big leagues and play? Uh, definitely a phenomenal feeling. You know, it's been a long journey, a long road for me. You know, I'm, uh, I'm grateful and thankful for this opportunity, for sure. So you couldn't be playing for a better manager. I mean, Dusty Baker is like the coolest ever, and he understands your, your battle, your story to get back. When he finally got a chance to sit down with you and say, here's what we're going to do with you, what was that conversation and how did you feel about that? Uh, you know, we had a brief conversation about how the things were going with the team and uh, exactly what they needed. And uh, I'm just glad that I can be a piece of the puzzle to help this team win ball games for sure. So I started off the tape talking about 2007, the Compton Academy. And mm -hmm. I said, your jersey is on the fence there. What did that mean right. for young John Singleton back then to be in this pipeline with MLB? Uh, definitely means a lot for me. You know, that's where it all kind of started for me way back when, you know, when I was a young kid. Uh, had a lot of fun playing back then, playing at the Urban Youth Academy, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. What, who, who really kind of took you under your wing? Did you, who'd you learn something from? Is it Ken, Ken Landro? Who, who do you remember? Man, yeah. taught you a few things. Definitely, you know, spent a lot of hours in the cage with Kenny. You know, he te definitely taught me a lot about hitting. So, I'm, you know, I can't, I can't describe how grateful I am for that. So let's talk about right now. Here you are on an Astros club that has a chance to go mm -hmm. back to the World Series again. The first time you right. broke into the big leagues, there's a bunch of young guys trying to find their way. What is the mm -hmm. difference with where you are and with this team at this point now that you're back? Well, you know, this team is a lot different. You know, it's a lot of uh, older guys, and, uh, you know, they won a World Series last year, so they know what it's like. They know what, what it takes to get there. And uh, I'm glad just to be a part of it. You know, the way, by the way they handle their business, they, they're very serious about it, and they, they really want this. So I'm glad to see it, and I'm glad to be here. So Jose Altuve, you had to have crossed paths with him before now, and now he's approaching right. 2,000 hits. You remember the first time you saw Jose and seeing him now today? Can you take us back to the young Jose that you right. saw? <laughs> yeah, uh, not much has changed with Jose. You know, he's still the great second baseman, great hitter, uh, you know, great attitude, great uh, locker room guy. So I I'm just grateful to, to be here when he gets to, you know, that, uh, that monument. So, I mean, what can I say? He's a, he's a, he's a great person and a class act. Well, man, I'm, I'm excited for you. I'm happy to see you get back. Tonight, hitting sixth in the lineup. Go get him, big fella. All right? No doubt. No doubt. All right. Thank you, John. Appreciate you. Adnan, over to you. Thank you. Appreciate it.